Geeks, CB Super here. Uh, today I'm going to go over just how to import and edit your B-RAW or your Blackmagic RAW files. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right into DaVinci Resolve. And I'm using DaVinci Resolve 16. Uh, so one thing to note is that uh, the file I'll be using today is this uh, 6K footage off of the new Pocket Cinema camera. Um, it, it's a big file. Uh, I think this is this isn't even very long, but it's the, these files are pretty large. Uh, one nice thing is that um, both the free and the studio versions of Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve come with a Blackmagic RAW player. So if you have say something on your desktop and you want to just be able to play it, you can. And if you come over here, open with, you'll notice that the default is now the Blackmagic RAW player, which is pretty neat. Okay, so um, I'm gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm just gonna import this footage. And you import it like any other footage. Uh, mine happens to be on the desktop. So I'm just gonna load it up in there. Um, and then I'm gonna put it into the viewer real quick. And I'm gonna just kind of make it a little bit smaller by adding some ins and outs. And then drag it into my timeline. And I'm gonna jump over to the color tab. Immediately you could go and you could start um, editing the footage just as if it was normal footage But you probably want to use the actual raw functions and so the raw functions are going to be over here on the left um, So normally when you click on it, you'll notice that everything is grayed out um, And you won't be able to edit anything and like oh, let me turn off these LUTs um, You won't be able to edit anything in the in Until you change a couple of settings real quick. Um, so you can come over the to the decode quality and Normally you would come over to full res and uh, if I come over to full res and I press play um, It'll play it. Uh, it might not be like in real time and we're definitely dropping some frames uh, So I can I'll probably come over here and I'll just leave it in quarter res But you can put it in full res and it'll work just fine for you probably um, But uh, in order to open up all these settings We're gonna come over to project or the decode using and we're gonna come down to clip and then once you do that It's gonna open up all of these other settings and you can change your white balance uh, I usually leave mine as shot but if you say if I was to click on this daylight you'll notice that it kind of warms up the shot a little uh, you can come over to the gamma you can change there's a bunch of different presets here uh, you can change the ISO uh, if you need to brighten the shot uh, one thing to note is there's this little box that um, says highlight recovery so this little box down here highlight recovery is pretty neat uh, if you click on it and you look up over here where you can see this is obviously blown out uh, you'll notice that it recovers the highlights. Now you can't, probably can't tell very well, but if I come over here and I boost the saturation all the way up, now you'll notice that the highlights have clipped and I've lost some data over here in this area. Now if I hit highlight recovery, you notice that I got quite a bit of that back. Um, so that's a pretty cool function right there. Uh, I'm just going to turn that back down. And so you can play around with your color, temp, your tint, the exposure, if you didn't expose it correctly. Oh, I went too far there. That should be one. Um, and you once you start playing around in it you'll get the hang of like where the zeros are because you can't always like undo things um, in this black magic raw section because it's it's almost like it's taking it outside of the program but you're able to work with it in the program so you can you could change the saturation and contrast and all this stuff um, you definitely could uh, I don't ne necessarily like to do mess with it too much I like to get it back to I like to fix anything that I might have messed up while shooting and then I'll actually go into the nodes to work with the coloring uh, I'm not gonna really get into that today because I just wanted to show you how to work with the uh, camera raw um, because pretty much after you are done with the, this camera raw tab you're basically just getting back into the normal color wheels power windows um, and, and and it's almost like you're working with other footage say if I was to actually like just start messing with this uh, cha changing the gamma the game uh, messing with the shadows and stuff uh, and then if I hit uh, alt s and I add another node maybe I want to throw down maybe I put a LUT on there the nice thing is is that I can always go back to camera raw and these things are not baked in i can come back here i can drop the drop the temp i can change the tint i can expose it up um, those things you're still able to go back in and it's not going to it's going to affect what's what comes later in the notes but it's not going to directly impact um this the effect if that makes any sense probably doesn't so i'll probably just edit that out um so anyways long story short 
if you're having problems and you come in here and you are unable to click on any of these other functions, it's because your decode using is at the Blackmagic Raw default. Um, same with uh, the camera metadata, you're not gonna be able to edit any of this or the project. Um, so just make sure to come all the way down to clip and all of those will open up and you should be able to mess with your footage and it'll be crazy cool, all right? So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification and leave any comments down in the actual comments because um, I do actually go through all the comments and if you have an idea for a tutorial I'd be more than happy to throw it out there and if I don't know how to do it I'll find out and I'll hook you guys up. Alright, thanks and I'll see you guys in the next one.